numbers from 2 to 11. So the divisibility property for 11. So the divisibility property for 2, already we have discussed about the even numbers, that all the even numbers are divisible by 2, that are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. This all the numbers are divisible by 2. So because it will be completely divisible. 2 by 2 is 1, completely divisible. 4 by 2 is 2, 6 by 2, and 8 by 2, 10 by 2. All these numbers are divisible by 2. So all the even numbers, whatever we have taken, that are divisible by 2. So this is the divisibility rule, rule for 2. When we have, when we see the number 4, and uh, if the last two digits, two digits of a number is divisible by 4, so the whole number is divisible by 4. For example, in a two-digit number, it's 12, 12 is divisible by 4, so the whole number is divisible by 4. If we take it at 512, and this, so if we see here, 512, and this last two digits of a number is divisible by 4, that's the reason this whole number is divisible by 4. If we take any other number like 7, 7, or 1, 6, and this, let's see the last two digits of this number. 6 6 so 6 6 is 12 12 and 12 last two digits two digits of a number is 1 2 1 2 1 6 and these numbers are divisible by 4 the whole number is divisible by 4 let's see again the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4 then whole number that whole number is divisible by 4 this 16 is divisible by 4 that's the reason 7716 is divisible by 4 Similar property for 8 also, but there is a small change in that. Then we take 7, 7, 8, 1, 6. In this, let us observe the last 3 digits of a number, and this last 3 digits of a number is divisible by 8, then whole number is divisible by 8. For example, we will take some other number. That's the reason is 9045 is divisible by 9. 
So there is similar pro there is same property for the n i sum of all the digits of a number is divisible by three. That whole number is that whole number what we have taken is divisible by three. So nine coming to nine sum of all the digits of a number is divisible by nine. That whole number nine thousand forty five whatever we have taken that is divisible by nine. So this is the same property for three and nine. So let's go for the divisibility property for five and ten. If we see the for five, the unit place of a number is unit place of a number is five or zero. Then we if that that number is divisible by five. So let's take some other number here. The unit place of this number is zero. So the whole number is divisible by five. Here, let us see. One thousand one hundred five, and this is twelve thousand three hundred, and this unit place is five, and here unit place is zero. So the unit place of a number is zero or five. Its unit place of a number is zero or five. Then whole number is divisible by five. And let's see the similar property for ten also. The unit place of a number. Only zero. The unit place of a number is only zero. Then whole number is divisible by ten. Let's see here. Unit place of this number is twelve. This is the number twelve thousand three hundred fifty. And this unit place is zero. So the number is divisible by ten. So what we understood here is the unit place of a number is zero or five. Then the number is divisible by five. And unit place of a number is zero. Then only it's divisible by ten. So there is a similar property for five and ten. For five, it should be five and or zero in unit place. But for ten, it should be only zero in unit place. Let's go to to go to the property of eleven. Let's take the number. One thousand six hundred seventy. So in this, in this, when we observe this number, if we have taken the alternative digits of this number seven and six, we have taken alternative digits of the number. First we have taken seven and we left one. Then after we have taken six and we left one of the number alternative digits we have taken. So let's take the alternative digit digits. Six and seven, and other numbers are one and one. First, first number we have taken. Next number we left, and the next number we have taken. A number is divisible by eleven, and the sum of odd places and the sum of even places, or the difference between them is zero or eleven. Then the whole number is divisible by eleven. So let's take that example of it. Your odd places are seven. Six. Odd places of this number are seven and six, and even places of this number is one and one. Odd places are six and seven, and even places are one and one. And we find out the sum of these odd places and sum of the odd even places. We will be getting six plus seven and one plus one. So after finding this result, let us subtract this both. The difference between these odd places and even places is zero, or the multiple of eleven. Then the number is divisible by eleven. So six plus six plus seven is thirty. Thirty minus two is equals to eleven. So we got the multiple of eleven is nothing but multiple of eleven. So eleven into is equal eleven into one is equals to eleven. That is the reason this whole number one thousand six hundred seventy divided by eleven. Yet either we get a multiple of eleven or the number zero. Then the whole number is divisible by eleven. So let's go to the property of seven. Let's see the divisibility rule for seven. The difference between twice of last digit and the remaining digits is divisible by seven. Then whole number is divisible by seven, and we'll continue the same process until the number digits become. Zero or multiple of seven. Let's see. The last digit of this number is five. So twice the 
this last digit, this ten, and the difference between the remaining digits and the slice of this last digit is two ninety seven minus ten is equals to two eighty seven. So here we got two eighty seven. Difference between the last digit, difference between the slice of last digit is ten, and the remaining digits are two ninety seven. And we are finding here the difference between them is 287. So here we got 287. Let's do the same process. The slice of last digit is 14, and remaining digits are 28. And then let's subtract these two numbers. We'll be getting 14. So finally we got 14. 14 is a multiple of 7. So the whole number is divisible by 7. So if we get the result here 0 on multiple of 7, then the whole number is divisible by 7. This is the rule for divisibility of 7. Okay. Let's see the divisibility property for 2n. So let's see the divisibility property for 6. If the number is divisible by 6, it can only if it is divisible by 2 by 3. If you take a number, any number, 12, so this 12 is divisible by 2 by 3. For example, if we take this number, 12 by 2 is 3, sorry, 12 by 2 is 6, and it is divisible by 2, and 12 by 3 is divisible by also that is 4 what we understood here is 12 is divisible by 2 and 12 is divisible by 3 also so a number is divisible by 2 and 3 both then the number whole number is divisible by 6 so what we understood here is the number is divisible by 6 if, if and only if it is divisible by 2 and 3 every number can be expressed as some of the prime factors. So we'll take a number and write that number as a product of prime factors. Then this method is called as prime factorization. So let's take on the example to find the prime factors for a number. So 1050. So let's find out prime factors for 1050 we will use the division method to find out this division method we will use division method to find out the prime factors for 1050 let's take we know the prime numbers that are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 13 and so on. So let's take first prime number 2. So we have taken 2. So after taking 2, this will be cancelled in this 5 times and uh, 25 times. 525 times. 2 table will cancel in 1050 for 525 times. So let's see. We'll take the 2 but 2 table will not be getting 5 because even numbers are divisible by 5 sorry even numbers are divisible by 2 so this is a odd number it cannot be divisible by 2 let's see for 3 let me know that divisibility properties there are 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 2 12 so 3 is divisible so let's take the next number 3 when we have taken 3 so it is if we cancel this one time then after 2 will be left of 7, 3 is so 21, 5 times. So 175 is cancelled. After cancellation, with 3 table 525, we got 175. So let's see that 3 table will cancel in this or not. 7, 5, 12, 12 plus 1, 30. So sum of the digits is 30. It cannot be divisible by 3. We know the divisible property for 3. So this is not divisible by 3. So let's take next number. Next prime number is 5. So 5 and this 5. And this will be cancelled. This 3 times and uh, 
two will be left over here and then five times so it is cancelled for 35 times and next we will take the 35 and same five number because it is a five your x place is five so we can take five so five seven times we cancel so seven then after and seven we are not getting five table so next number next prime number is seven so let's take seven and this one time it will cancel so the prime numbers what we got here after division method this is the division method we have done and uh, two three five five seven so two three five five seven the number of top is all the prime numbers is so these are the number of top the numbers we yeah, express this number so this is called division method let us see another number let us take another number that is Get in five tables, seven tables, seven, 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 forty-nine. 